Come here. Hey, you got the gun? Yeah. Let me, let, me, let me see the gun, okay? Come on out. Come on out. No, I'm not coming out. You got to come out. We need, we, need we need to talk to you. This is an emergency situation. Get the talk right here. Step out of the house. Step out of the house. Stop for a second and listen. House. Get out of the house. Listen. We talk to you, sir. Get out of the house. Listen to me. We need to talk to you. We are going to put our hands on you if you don't move. We need just, to get you, get out of the house. Screw ball, this drug addict. Get out of the house. Don't even go there. Get out of the house. Gary, come on, come on. Why do you gotta act like what this? The heck? Welcome back to We the People University. My name is Abaya Israel, a former police officer and former sheriff's deputy. All right, we have a lot to look at in this upcoming video. All right, and I gotta say this up front. There's a lot of unanswered questions in this particular video. We we're dealing with young kids children at the i think i would guess age is two maybe three they're outside and they're playing but you have to pay attention to everything that's said in a particular video because it's it's kind of answering some questions behind the scene that we really don't know for example why would a two-year-old or a three-year-old be outside by themselves for not just your neighbor but for anyone to invite them into their home i'm not standing on one side or the other i would definitely have to get more information but what we really or primarily want to focus on is the actions of the police in this video and yeah let's just jump right into it we have a lot more that we could talk about here in a second tell him to stop doing that man stop offering my Where's kids candy at? and sweets oh, and shit who, who who's got the gun, the gun on us? listen this is what happened man Hey, who's got the gun? No, not here. We're inside the house. Well, actually, I was in the house when they came in and told me, man, that uh, this guy next door. Obviously, yeah, obviously they don't get along. I'm just hearing about the uh, situation. So uh, they came. She came in the house and told us that you know he had snatched the kids and not snatched them, but took the kids in the house and instead he offering them popsicles and candies. He had just gave them a popsicle apiece. Now you know they keep going. To, yeah, we go in the house for a minute and then you know he take the kids back in the house and give them two or three more popsicles. Don't even go there. Get out of the house. Gary, come on. Why do you gotta act what like this? What the hell you got? Taser off. Get him on the ground. 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 Get him on let me see the gun, okay? Come on out. Come on out. No, I'm not coming out. You gotta come out. We need, come we need to talk to you. This is an emergency situation. Get the talk right here. Step out of the house. Step out of the house. Stop for a second and listen. Get out of the house. Listen. We listen. Talk to you, sir. Get out of the house. Listen to me. We need to we talk to you. We are going to put our hands on you if you don't move. We need just, to get you. Get out of the house. Screw ball this drug addict. Get out of the house. Don't even go, go there. Get out of the house. Gary. Come on. Come on. Why do you got to act like this? What the hell? You got to do that. Get him on the ground. Get him on the ground. So in later reports, it's going to be stated that the homeowner went for his gun. And this is the reason why police decided to go hands on. But that's not what happened. It wasn't that he went for his gun. The police just went off of the words of the neighbor. Um, if you're a homeowner, if you're anyone, you have a gun on your waist and I can see that gun, I can easily give you a description of that weapon and I can make up a story to go with it. And that's appears to be what's happening here i can't say if the neighbor's version is 100 percent accurate or false but what i can say is the police did not properly investigate it they heard the word gun and then they did what police do let's keep watching i quit i got a heart i got a heart put your head behind your back you son of a bitch i got a heart don't you move So I, I, I slowed the clip down so we can all hear what just happened and, and we, we could be a witness to this. One officer states or says to the, the homeowner who they're now beating up, he says, put your hands behind your back. You immediately see the homeowner start to put his hand behind his back. Another officer states, don't you move while simultaneously another officer grabs that hand that he's trying to put behind his back and pulls it back in front of him. And then they make the claim they're going to make the claim that he was trying to go for his gun. 
No, he was trying to comply because he was telling you he does not want to be tasered because he has heart problems. So when you're telling him to put his hands behind his back, he's trying to put his hand behind his back. Do not fucking move, don't you? Do not fucking move. Don't move. Hold up. Get your other taser. Keep your hands behind your back. I'm gonna Put your hands or you're getting taser. Oh my god. You guys are nuts. You fucking idiot going for your fucking gun. What the hell's wrong with you? Going for your gun, idiot. I wasn't going for nothing. All you had to do is come out and talk to us. I want him. You could have come in. Oh, my God. That's We can clearly see that the homeowner was not going for his gun. And when I read this portion, what I'm about to share with you in the article, I couldn't find it in the video, but magically it popped out to me and I finally saw it. I froze it and took a picture of it. While they're claiming he's going for his gun, they're, pay they're taking his gun from his holster and putting it to the back of his head. Look at this. Don't you move. Do not fuck. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Do not fuck. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. I had a heart attack. Hold up. Here's the other taser. Keep your hands behind your back. I'm going to taser you. Put your hands you're getting hurt a lot more, man. So while being roughed up by police because of a disagreement between neighbors and one neighbor giving his side of the story and the police going to the other neighbor and because the other neighbor does not want to come outside, but yet he wants to stand in his doorway and give you his side of the story. Oh, wait. Yes, you're, you're right. He has a gun and we all know that no one in America can legally own a gun except for police. This is the mindset. It's crazy. As soon as the word gun or police see a gun, everything changes. Laws do not matter. And because this man wants to stand in his doorway and explain to you his side of the story, he's now beat up, taken down, tasered several times, has his gun placed to the back of his head and in his lower back area while still being tasered and beat up by police, all while telling you I have heart conditions. So, this is the issue with what we're seeing in policing. But let's keep watching this video. Anybody else in here? No. Boys, stay here. I'm going over here making sure nobody's here. Hang on. You stay right there with us. Oh, my God, guys. Guys. Why are you going in here? No, that's it. I have a right to protect myself. Yeah, you do. And I stay in the house. house. When the police are investigating you for a crime, you don't get All you have to do is come in and talk. We told you. Yes, I'm outside with us, sir. Mm -hmm. Police department. Clear over here. Alright, take that. Oh, that's really tough. Fuck, I'm trying to get a Bradley head. Baker had my arm. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, one down here. gun and we have no idea where the gun is and you're going for your gun. It's I, on my waist! Are you serious? I asked you to come out. Alright, let's 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 start over. What's your name? You know something? I'm going to sue. Okay, That's what's fine. your name, sir? Let's start over. I live here. My name's Mr. White. Mr. White. I'm Officer Baker. Okay. When we, I need fax numbers? 178. It'll all be on the police report. It better be. Yep. Let me explain to you. Can I get up? I can't breathe. Get him up. I'm yeah. a veteran. Get him up. I don't need this shit. Okay, hang on. Turn over. Hold up. Turn over. Turn over. Get on your knees. Put your knees in. Put your legs in. Oh, yeah, Put your please. legs in. What are you doing? Leave my weapon. No, we're not leaving your weapon right now. Yeah, man, you're show. under arrest, dude. You're under arrest. For what? For obstructing. Obstructing what? You coming to me? Relax. Put your feet together, and we're no gonna get warrant. you on your knees. We're gonna get you on no your knees. No nothing. Sit up. Sit I up. Can't. I can't. My bad yeah. knees and a heart. You call for him? No, I'm, I'm trying to right now. One. 
Put your legs. Put, put your legs in like you're sitting Indian style. No, no, don't be. Put your legs in like you're sitting Indian style. For a fucking drug addict next door. One, two. I deal with this. Yeah. Come on, you gotta help us, man. There you go. I can't move good. You guys are absolutely nuts. No, we're not. No, actually, we're not. I stayed in my house. I never left the door. Listen, can, can I talk to you for a I'm not young. You're not young. Can, can I talk to you for a I'm not young. You're not young. Okay, let's Nobody go. deserves this shit. I'm a citizen. Okay, but let's let, let, let's I'm explain what happened from our from you our perspective. Go. This gentleman, hold up. I have a right to Listen, talk to him. Just let us just let me talk, please. This gentleman next door. The calls, drug addict. Calls 911. Yeah, he's got warrants in Detroit and everywhere says, else. That's says, all they do is smoke. He says, listen, over here, listen, I'll kill let you. Him talk. I'll, let him talk. He says, talk. he says, hey, my next door neighbor had been talking to my kids, inviting them inside his house. I didn't invite them in. Hold up, let me, let me, let me let's just tell you where we're coming from. Okay. Be a nice guy. He asked for an ice cream. Okay. They do it. His wife was over here. Okay. Wherever who she is. Okay. I don't care. The kids, Again. Mr. Larry, can Mr. we have an ice cream? Yeah, sure, why Mr. not? Mr. White, please, please. I'm trying us. to be a nice guy, and this is a they, shit. They I call us. I, I believe he you're. Did. I believe you're trying to be nice. They call us and said, "You invited his kids in." He said, "Hold on, let me just." Right. He says he invited. You invited his kids in. He doesn't want his kids over here. He said he came to confront you and asked where his kids were. No, no, no. Kids, his wife come up first. I said, "Come on in," because uh -huh. I. They were out there earlier. I gave him two each. I got she you. She goes, "Thank you, Larry. Thank you." But then, no problem. Then they come back, knocked on the door. I said, "They're talking to my friend." Uh -huh. I said, "The kids are back." Mm -hmm. Mr. Larry, can we have another ice cream? I don't care. That's fine. You're little kids. I got and this is a part of the video that I question. These are little kids, and I did not add the kids into the video because I don't think a two or three year old should be, I don't know, featured in the video. Although they are on the body camera. But why are your two, two and three year old children walking out of the house or from the front yard going to someone else's home and you have no clue? where they are and so when you find them obviously they may this they may be familiar so the, the neighbors are trying to paint the older gentleman out to be some type of you know the word that i can't pronounce on youtube and i'm not saying it's not true but what i am saying is we don't know if it's true or false what we do know is that there's a lot of questions that has to be answered and it seems like this is just a back and forth between neighbors and one neighbor is really saying a lot of mean things about the other neighbor and vice versa because they don't like each other. But what I really want to focus on is all of the things that the police do in this video is just one after another. These are the reasons why people are killed by police. One police officer tells you to put your hands up. Another one may say, get on the ground. Another officer may say, turn around. There are several different orders being barked in this video. And when trying to follow one, the order that you did not follow by a particular police officer, he ends up tasering you or shooting you. And now you're hurt, injured or worse because everyone was telling you to do 10 different things and it became chaotic. Good phone number, email address. If you write down what happened, sign with okay, so Here's the next one if you guys need it. I need to call. Sorry. Say that one more time. I'm sorry. Don't worry about line number one. Okay, Statement of that's your name, okay. address, phone numbers, email, and then write down what happened. Okay. okay. Try to be descriptive as you can. Okay. Well, I got treated about 20 minutes ago. Larry, can I, I get okay. can I get your birthday, please? Swear to God, Marsha, Nazism. Go. Hey, that's it. You need a double one? I can't get out. They're killing me. My wrist was broken three times. Here, kind of lean, lean your body that way. Just take them off it. Well, I can't no, do that. Lean your, lean your whole body. Like, lean over. And then kind of kick your feet out as best you can. There you go. Man. Hey, you got to kick, kick your feet out, man. Kick them out where? Like towards us. Oh, fuck. 
There you go. Nope, you almost had it. Just ridiculous. Honestly. We're trying to make sure they won't tighten up. If somebody would have told me this was going to be happening on my wedding anniversary. There's no way. I can't even move my move. right wrist. It's so tight. We're going to take you back to the station and take them off. Yep. Well, we got a short drive. Yeah, I know. Trust me. So he is arrested. And at the end of the video, if you listen closely, when he's put in the back of the car, you can hear the cuffs tighten up. That's very dangerous. And then he's he could barely fit, you know, in the back of the, the vehicle in a situation like that. You know, uh, most policies, you must be handcuffed behind your back. But there are exceptions to being handcuffed in front. It's a 74 year old man. He's just about to 80 years old. OK, you just several cops turn the handcuffs around. He can barely fit in the car. You're going to break his wrist. I mean, let's be serious here. But anyway, this is this is the end of the video. Um, put your thoughts down below. Again, there are a lot of questions on what really happened. I can't say one way or the other about the lead up to this. But what we can say is how the police responded to this was horrible. Make sure you record the police. Know your rights. With that being said, we the People University signing off. Want to learn your rights? Make sure you register for our online video course titled Surviving the Police. You will learn everything you need to know when it comes to protecting your rights against tyrannical cops. So make sure you visit wethepeopleuniversity.com and register today.